All right, guys, here we are. This is Jason with Camp Dog Trouble, www.dogtrouble.net. And Mike has just come off of oh, about 40 minutes of exercise. And one of the things that we're working on with Mike is his obsession with reflections and shiny things. Um, this is a rather unique case because anytime you have reflections and lights shining off things passing by, Mike uh, wants to become obsessed with it. And we've been working to kind of to neutralize some of that obsession, but uh, we've got some, some good strong sunlight coming in, so we're, we're going to take a few minutes of video here to give you an idea of the kind of uh, thing Mike does here. Now this obsession with with reflections and moving lights and stuff is actually fairly common. Uh, we haven't had a chance to work with this here at Camp Dog Trouble, but Mike's been making some good headway. And another part of the video, or one of our earlier videos, we mentioned that Mike was actually on Prozac for a while before he came here to Camp Dog Trouble. And so now we're going to introduce... Hey! Can you see? This is a rather unique situation. Now, we generally don't allow him to behave this way with, with the reflections, but this is just for an example so that we can show you guys hey. exactly what's going on here with Mike. No. Hey. No. And what we have to do is prevent him from focusing. We disagree with the attention being paid to the reflected lights, which you probably can't see on the video, but they're right in front of him. Hey! Bring him back. Same place. No. Mike actually has to learn to ignore these things. actually much shorter than it was when we first started working with the reflections and things of that nature. You can see now he's starting to, hey, he's starting to ignore a little bit. You can see the panting increasing and the licking here. What you want to do is distract the attention and have him focus on something else, preferably the handler. Now, when in doubt, Mike's been learning to look me directly in the eyes. There he is, making eye contact again. We want him not to chase after these reflections. Now, if, can you imagine what a world it would be if he constantly thought every reflection was something that he had to chase? Now we have a little relaxation. And this is just showing an example of the exposure to the item that causes the obsession and the ability for us to correct it. Now, I'm sitting back over here behind the camera once again. My legs are crossed. And I'm just causing this reflection to shine all over the place. And now Mike is working more to ignore it. You can see some of the, the panting has slowed down. Because we've done this exercise numerous times. And I'm glad he actually triggered like he did so that you guys could see that on video because it's, you know, once, once the dogs get here, we start working on this stuff. 
but these reflections that you're seeing here, they're now up behind me. These reflections that you're seeing here are actually being caused by a mirror. Shining in the sunlight that's coming through. And you can hear me tap my foot on the floor or I just snap. Uh, these are all just different ways that we audibly disagree with the behavior. Hey, no. And he's got to learn that, you know, reflections are just part of this world. And the more he's exposed to this kind of exercise, you can see the panting has returned again. And, and that'll come and go as, as he learns a new way of being with, with this situation. You see, the previous handlers have not really known what to do. So when Mike starts wanting to chase after these things, you know, they freak out and they, they holler his name. And, well, that's just giving affection to the situation. So what we have to do here, you can see he's actually put his head down. Is we have to expose to these situations so that he learns that he doesn't have to react to shiny things flashing on the wall. Now, for him to just sit there is, is, is pretty tough. And this is something that over the next several weeks, hey, here in Camp Dog Trouble, we're going to be working. You see, every time he tries to go get it, we correct it because he doesn't need to go get the little reflective light. Because it's just part of life. You have to deal with reflections. Now, you guys keep tuned into these videos. We're going to keep working with Mike here. And this, this is just an example of, of how we kind of overload the neurology and, and have the dog face its fears, face its obsessions, and learn a new way of being. Now what Mike is eventually going to learn is that he doesn't have to have an interest in any of these things. That he can just ignore. And there's only four modes in your dog's brain, folks. Fight, flight, avoid, and submit. And we don't want him to fight the reflections. We don't want him to flight or run and chase. What we want him to do is actually submit to the reflections. But if he can get away with ignoring, then that's much better. Hey! And this is all part of desensitizing to the reflections of, of light that Mike has to deal with in his daily life. And yeah, this is kind of a stressful situation for Mike. And that's why you see the, the tongue out and you see him panting there. The exercise that he just got, of course, helps drain some of that excess energy that he would have to try to chase after this reflective line. And this is just an example, guys, of what you can accomplish. Now, Mike's really only been here for uh, seven or eight days now. And he's only been off the Prozac now for five days. And he will continue to be exposed to these kind of situations and have to learn how to handle himself around reflected light, reflected objects. And uh, when he goes home, he's going to have a whole lot more chance at a balanced life with a whole lot less stress without having to worry about reflected lights and things of that nature. Now you can see he's, he's back down into a little bit more relaxed posture, even though the light's reflecting all around him. He's learning to submit. He's learning to relax. And he's really just kind of ignoring right now. And he's going through moments where, where it's stressful and then he relaxes a little bit. But this, guys, is how we help a dog who is obsessed with reflected lights. Now, stay tuned for these videos. Uh, there's going to be more videos of Mike here at Camp Dog Trouble. This is dog behaviorist Jason Miller from dogtrouble.net, www.dogtrouble.net can also check us out on Facebook and make sure that you share our videos with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, wherever else you may be on the internet where you can post videos. Uh, swing on over by the website guys. Make sure you like the videos as well as sharing them and uh, if you want to leave any comments down below. As you can see Mike is a whole lot more relaxed now. His nose is on the ground. He pan down just a little bit here. You can see his nose is on the ground, even though there's a spot moving around right in front of his nose.
All right, guys, this is what we can accomplish in just a very short time in order to help dogs become rehabilitated and more balanced when they have strange obsessions. All right, guys, tune in next time. Thanks for watching the videos.